with Errol Spence fighting your Dennis Ugas next April, Mar May, March time frame. What is the reason for Terrence Crawford to not fight Jerron Boots and it's now? Let's talk. <laughs> Now I want a body on my record. Now I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right, I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as, as long as you're trying to fight the great, you're or the the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. You wish the best, fight the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die, spitting straight facts. These bitches cry cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate, I'm a laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard, click the link, get the hands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard, click the link if you dare to, bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard, you get your sources from clowns, so when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Well, well, well. I told you not to try me, boy. Terrence Bud Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis. What's the problem? The answer, Jerron Boots Ennis, fits every criteria. He fits every single one. The answer, Jerron Boots Ennis is the hottest name in boxing not named Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford. So that's a big name. Um, he's ranked number two in the WBO behind Virgil Ortiz, who said he needs 48 months to be ready for Jerron Boots Ennis. So he's the biggest name. That is the biggest fight for Terrence Crawford. Not named Errol Spence. Let me guess. So it'll be okay for Terrence Crawford to fight Josh Taylor, who is about to fight in his mandatory defending his undisputed crown at 140. So it's okay for Terrence Crawford to fight a guy moving up from 140 over a guy who's already ranked number two, established name. At 140. So it's better for him to fight a guy moving up. Than it is for him to fight a guy that's already there. Is that what you guys want me to believe? Because I know that's the name you're going to throw out. Oh well you know. Uh, Josh Taylor man. Josh Taylor is a big name. You fight in the UK against Josh Taylor. Uh, Josh Taylor. Josh Taylor. Well Mikey Garcia was a 140 pound champion. Mikey Garcia beat Sergey Lipinets. For the 140 pound championship. The IBF 140 pound title. Facts. So, that was little, tiny, small, Mikey. So, Josh Taylor's not small? Oh, come on, BF. You saw Josh Taylor stand next to next to Errol Spence and, I mean, next to Terrence Crawford and Josh Taylor. He's a big guy, man. So, he's a 140-pound champion. Mikey Garcia fights at 147 right now. Matter of fact, Mikey Garcia has been consistently fighting at 147 ever since he fought Errol Spence. So, what are y'all saying to me? What are you really saying? You're not saying nothing. Jerron Boots Ennis is the name. What happened to all the energy? Oh, man, Errol Spence going to duck boots. Man, Errol Spence going to duck boots, man. He going to duck boots because boots is his IVF mandatory. Boots is the IVF mandatory now. Now that quadruple armadillo got beat, boots is the IVF mandatory. Errol Spence going to duck boots. He going to duck boots. I know it right now. Errol Spence going to duck boots. Errol Spence don't want no smoke with boots. I'm telling you this right now. Every time I say... 
Well, you know, Bud can fight Boots too. That's a good fight. I think Terrence Crawford versus uh, Jerron Boots Ennis is an amazing fight. Oh, but Errol Spence can fight Boots. Well, Errol Spence can fight Boots too. Uh, why, why, is it just, why is it just Terrence Crawford? Errol Spence can fight Boots. Yeah, you guys don't want Errol Spence to fight Boots. You want Terrence Crawford to fight Boots. You don't want no Errol Spence to fight Boots. Yeah, you know why? Because Boots will beat him. Boots will stop him. Boots knocks him out. Blah, blah, blah. Boots says this and Boots says that. Fine. If Boots does all this and all that, and I believe Boots is the goods. I do. He hasn't fought anybody, but I believe he's the goods. Jerome Boots Ennis is calling for all of them. Jerome Boots Ennis did not just say the only one he wants is Errol Spence. No. Jerome Boots Ennis said, I want Terrence Crawford too. I beat Terrence Crawford, bro. I do everything he does. I do it better. That man thinks about switching to, to change hands. I'm the best switch hitter because I don't think about it. It comes natural. I'm fighting Orthodox and the next thing you know, I'm fighting Southport and I didn't even realize I did it. It's natural for me. That's what Boots says. I'm better at everything than Terrence Crawford. Everything he does, I do and I do it better. Those are his words. But y'all don't have that same energy for Boots though. Oh man, listen man, Boots is mandatory in the IBF. No, he is not. He has not fought in the IBF Final Eliminator. And because Errol Spence is fighting your Dennis Ugas, it wouldn't matter if he did. So what, let me guess, y'all just want Boots to just sit there and wait for EJ. Y'all just want him to sit there and wait for So who is Terrence Crawford going to fight? Josh Taylor's fighting somebody right now. Jerron Boots Ennis already fought. So Jerron Boots Ennis and Terrence Crawford, who both have already fought, are on the same timetable to fight each other. And guess what? They can fight at the exact same time that Errol Spence fights your Dennis Ugas. As a matter of fact, uh, Terrence Crawford is a free agent. You can fight on the same card. You can co-main event the same card. Errol Spence versus your Dennis Ugas main event. The co-main is Terrence Crawford versus Jerron Boots Ennis. All the belts are on the line in the same night, which sets up the next fight. The winner of the main versus the winner of the co-main. There is zero excuse. Zero excuse. Virgil Ortiz don't want no smoke at all. None. His team needs 48 months to be ready for uh, Jerron Boots Ennis. And Terrence Crawford is out here saying, hey man, Virgil Ortiz, yeah, he might have said my name, but he don't really want to fight. These guys, they say my name, but these guys don't really want to fight. They say my name, but they don't want to fight me. They really don't want to fight. They really don't. Jerron Boots Ennis really does. <laughs> he really does. Facts really does. So who at welterweight is a bigger name? Keith Thurman is fighting Tank Davis's leftovers. Who else? Danny Garcia is talking about 154. Speedy Rashidi Ellis is left in the cold. Who else? There is nobody else. There is nobody else. Jerron Boots Ennis versus Terrence Bud Crawford. That is a pay-per-view fight within itself. Within itself. Y'all can fight a week apart from each other, two weeks apart. One y'all can fight in the beginning of the month and the other can fight in the end of the month. Y'all can do two pay-per-views all you want. That's fine. It's better than co-main. But if you want to do your own main event, I'm with it. No problem. What other fighter are you going to fight where you can say, man, I, these are my numbers. I'm bringing this. Jerome Boots Ennis don't have no pay-per-views. Jerome Boots Ennis is not saying the only way I'm fighting Bud is 50-50. You want to hear Jerome Boots Ennis talk about accolades? He ain't saying none of that. None of that. He's saying, you got what I want, and I want it. <laughs> you got what I want, I want it. Give it to me, or I'm going to take it. I'm number two in the WBO. You got options. Get down or lay down. You got options. 
There is no reason, no excuse for Terrence Crawford to not fight this man. All these Bud fans that run around here trying to push Boots off on EJ. Oh, well, EJ will never fight Boots. EJ is scared of Boots. EJ don't want no smoke. EJ don't. Or, or if you say, man, listen, man, that's a good ass fight. That's a good ass fight with Terrence Crawford and Jerron Boots Ennis. They'll say, and it's a good fight with Errol Spence too. Why well, well, won't Errol Spence do it? It's a good fight for Errol Spence. Well, now Errol Spence is off the table. There's only one fight for Terrence Crawford. That is Jerron Boots Ennis. There is nobody else. There is no other fight. They can make that fight now. Right now. There is nothing holding it up. Jerron Boots Ennis will give that man the A-side, no problem. You're the A-side. You've been on multiple pay-per-views. I haven't. I haven't been on pay-per-views. You've been on them. You, your numbers are established. We know you're the A-side. 70-30? Bet. 80-20? Bet. 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 You got it. You got it, A-side, bud. You got it undisputed at 140, bud. You got it. You got it, multiple division champion, bud. You got it. You got it. And when I beat your ass, I got it. <laughs> What's the holdup? What's the holdup? Don't let, let me guess. Y'all don't fear little old boot tennis, do you? Oh, you Errol Spence guys. Errol Spence guys fear him too. Well, Errol Spence is fighting Ugas. Errol Spence is doing exactly what he said he was going to do. I'm getting all the belts over here. And when I get all the belts over here, I'll go see you. That's what he said. When I get all these belts on my side, then I'll go to your side and take yours because I want to be undisputed champion of the world. That's what he said. That's what he's doing. You've been tweeting. While Jerron Boots Ennis has been coming. He's here now. <laughs> What's your excuse, bro? What are Terrence Crawford fans' excuse to not fight Jerron Boots Ennis? What's your excuse? Josh Taylor? So it's okay. So it's not okay for Errol Spence to fight the IBF 140 pound champion. And Mikey Garcia, the IBF 135 and 145 pound champion and Mikey Garcia. It's not okay for him to do. It. But it's okay for Bud to fight the 140 pound champ champion, Josh Taylor. You might even not even get that fight. Josh Taylor fights with top rank. You just shit it on Bob Earl. You might not even get that. That's not a guarantee. At all. Josh Taylor don't need you at all. You might not get that fight, period. Now, you, you was going to get it had you stayed with top rank. You're not with them. Josh Taylor is with top rank. That is not a guaranteed fight for you at all. Jerron Boutenis is. Jerron Boutenis is a guaranteed fight. Virgil Ortiz is not a guaranteed fight for you at all. Those guys are what they want the, the champions to knock each other off so that Virgil Ortiz can fight for a vacant belt. That's what they want. They said that. Jerron Boutenis is a guarantee. Jerron Boutenis is all outside your door, beating on your door like the police. And you in there laying in the bed with headphones on, acting like you ain't trying to hear it. Acting like you don't hear this man. Motherfucker say, hey, someone's at the door. We say, hey, well, let Errol go get it. <laughs> Who's beat? Someone's knocking on the door. Well, well tell Errol and tell Errol to answer it. Why, why, why Errol Spence can't answer it? Why Errol Spence can't answer the door? <laughs> Instead of you getting up knocking it. Although Errol is already in the middle of something. You ain't doing nothing. He's in the middle of something. You want him to stop what he's doing to answer the door, but you're laying down. You ain't doing nothing. And instead of you answering the door, you and your fans are telling Errol to answer it. There is no reason, no excuse whatsoever for Terrence Crawford to not fight Jerron Boots Ennis except fear. If you ain't scared of him, what you waiting on? What you waiting on? He's number two in the WBO. You can petition the IBF to say, hey, IBF, if I beat Jerron Boots Ennis, can I be the IBF mandatory? Yeah, yeah, you, you could do that.
Because Jerome Boutinis is number one, baby. Yeah, there's no one above him in the w, in the IBF. No one. No one above him. And you fighting him, you can petition the IBF to make it a final eliminator. So yes, my WBO strap will be on the line, but I also want to make it a final eliminator. I also want to say, hey, look, Jerome Boutinis, he's your number one guy. He, he, all you got to do is fight in a final eliminator, and he'll become the IBF mandatory. I want to fight him. I want to fight him. Since I'm already petitioned to be your IBF mandatory, I want to fight him. Right? So I, I'll put my belt on the line. I'll fight him, and then that'll make me the IBF mandatory as well. What's the problem? The answer checks all boxes. The only way that you don't fight him is if you're scared to fucking death of this man. Oh, no fighters are scared. No fighters, man. I don't care who fighters. These fighters get in the ring. These fighters. I ain't trying to hear none of that shit. Prove me wrong, then. Fight that man next. BFTB. Shout out to the mighty. Mighty. L-D-B-C. And I'm out.